Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Let's get right to Lee, and it is looking like that buzzsaw type of hurricane. This is a huge hurricane, super powerful at this point. As expected, it is right on track uh, from what I've been showing you the last few days. So for the Caribbean, it is gonna pass just to the north at a safe distance. Again, I've been watching this around the clock, keeping an eye out for any changes. It has been locked in. That is good news to pass along. I want to look down the road what could happen and some incredible wave heights. I, they were catching my eye. I want to show you the waves with this that that will generate and we'll get into all the models and all that stuff. But this is a major hurricane. Winds right now at 165 miles per hour, gusts to about 200 miles per hour over the water. That's where we like it. Now, as you take a look at the uh, winds, this is where potentially the hurricane force winds could go, mainly right here in this orange shading. And I wanted to show you this map to show you how far they stay offshore. Here we are in the Northeastern Caribbean. You get toward Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Puerto Rico, British, US Virgin Islands here. All the hurricane force winds are gonna stay here. A zero percent chance of hurricane conditions in the Caribbean, a 0% chance of hurricane conditions. Hurricane conditions will stay to the north. Now, we're still monitoring this. The alert zones stay the same. Anguilla back through the Turks and Caicos and Southern Bahamas. Keeping an eye out for any changes, of course. We're going to see those higher seas, to say the least. And Bermuda watching this even more intently because eventually this is going to swing up to the north. And when it turns will dictate if this gets close to the east coast of the United States or moves into Bermuda. Hopefully it just kind of splits and moves away. I want to show you the long-term projections on that ahead. There's the models in staying all to the north by a good measure from Puerto Rico. This is not going to move into Puerto Rico, for example. Everything is locked in, and I don't just look in the models. I'm looking at the steering conditions, and these models are seeing them correctly. And this has been on track. So you see it there. Long term, here's Bermuda right here. Eventually, this will get a little bit closer if everything holds as of now with the steering conditions. This will get closer to the Atlantic region of Canada, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland down the road, watching you as this will eventually eventually work its way up. Now, for the Turks and Caicos, for example, the center of this, as it stands now, will be 300 miles or 480 kilometers offshore at its closest point. The European model, just a touch closer. The American model, a little bit farther away. That is a safe distance. As it stands now, the hurricane force winds don't extend too much out from the center. They will eventually expand. I want to show you the wind field in this in a moment, those winds. But this will stay about 300 miles offshore. That would keep the hurricane conditions and the tropical storm conditions off to the east of the Turks and Caicos and the Southern Bahamas. Of course, we're in that alert zone though, so I'll watch out for any changes, especially as eventually this slows down. So let me start here, then I'll widen out the picture, then I'll get to the European model and those wave heights. You see here, this is by later today and taking a look out in time, taking you through the weekend. This is by Saturday. There'll be a few fronts in the United States. They're not gonna grab it yet. This will continue to move to the uh, west-northwest and a little bit more of that northwesterly heading. The last couple days there's been those northerly jogs in this which has been good now what does that mean for the northeastern Caribbean and the Caribbean as a whole there could be a little bit of rain on the south side not with the core of this system but with some of those feeder bands especially as we work our way into Sunday so Sunday Antigua and Barbuda and Guilla uh, will see some scattered showers that will be a possibility but you see how it stays safely to the north as we work our way into Monday still a very powerful system at this point Stay out of the water, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, through the Eastern Caribbean. Avoid the water. Please, please, please. Incredible swells out of this, very dangerous rip currents. And then you see it here, Turks and Caicos, this will be off to the east as I just showed you. That's about 300 miles, the center of it, off to the east as we work our way into Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday is when it will make its turn. A sooner turn means it would move to Bermuda. A little bit of a later turn could keep most of the action east of the Bermuda, east of Bermuda. The American model at this point, pretty much the same as yesterday, keeping the heaviest weather just, just off to the west of Bermuda. I should say, as we work our way into Thursday. 
It's hard to tell at this point, that is way down the road, if a hurricane will move directly into Bermuda or if it will stay off to the west. That is still a wait and see at this point. So uh, I'm not going to break down any impacts. I don't know yet if that's going to work its way in. As we go out in time, into, uh, this would be a week from now, Friday of next week, you see the American model has a closer approach. The European model is more offshore. If the European model holds, that would be excellent news for everybody. But Friday into Saturday of next week, this could get very close to New England and then watching Nova Scotia and working our way back toward uh, Newfoundland as we work our way into uh, Saturday of next weekend. This is a wait and see as well. But at the Atlantic uh, region of Canada, clearly I'm watching this, there is a possibility of tropical storm or hurricane impacts by late next week and next weekend. It's a wait and see. The European model though, more offshore as far as that is uh, concerned. But you see again this system here, uh, just kind of that buzzsaw type of system that will eventually make its curve. Now, uh, back behind it, I should mention that is Margot. Margo is going to stay out to sea. And there's more waves back behind it, tropical waves I'll be watching. Uh, and uh, the European model is not really developing them, but the American model is. They may have been catching your eye as you've been looking at other things. But let me focus on this and what we're seeing here. Here on the broader picture with the European model, the remnant still of Adalia. That has been super helpful, allowing this to have a window. That's been keeping high pressure off to the east enough. High pressure is that blocker. Since that's over there, that allows this to, to curve thanks to the remnants of Adalia, which are in eastern Canada at this point. Now, the European model, very similar to the American model. You see, as we go out in time, taking you through the weekend, safe distance from the northeastern Caribbean. Here's Bermuda right here. So this is by the time we get into Sunday evening, still a very powerful system the wind field will expand. Now, as it gets north of Puerto Rico, it is going to slow down and almost stall. That's because it's waiting on a front back to the west. And you see here, high pressure builds in. So that's the blocker. So it doesn't really have anywhere to go. That's why it's going to slow down as we work our way into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. High pressure right here, dominant. So it can't really escape up to the north at that point. But as we go out in time into early next week, this would be by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, this would be Wednesday of next week, we're going to see high pressure moving off because a front or a trough is going to start to work in. It's this one here that will eventually grab this, this uh, and lift it up to the north. So again, you see this front right here, that's the one will, that will allow it to make its move and it acts as a barrier protecting much of the east coast of the United States, still a question mark for New England, but as we get into uh, Wednesday and Thursday of next week, it would grab it. European model keeps this to the west of Bermuda and then lifts it up to the north. At that point, it tries to swing it a little bit more to the south of Nova Scotia. That would be a great thing, trying to keep it over water. If this works out, that would be good news for everybody. The American models I just showed you kind of shoots it into land. European model more to the uh, south of Newfoundland as we work our way into uh, uh, late next week, next week and really uh, the following week. So this is about a week and a half from now. This is by Monday of the following week. Now the wind field, watch how it expands. In the winds, the gustiest winds stay away from the northeastern Caribbean. You see this yellow shading in here. Those are winds of 145, uh, 145 kilometers to 90 miles per hour. Then you see the greens popping up. And obviously the numbers are off the chart. We've had the purples in there. Uh, the winds right now are 165. So this model is actually behind in the winds. It's not seeing how strong it is right now. Eventually, you see those brighter colors that are showing up that are the uh, category four, category five type of strength. But point being, heaviest winds stay to the northeast of the Caribbean as expected, working our way out in time. Now, once it starts to stall, I mentioned it kind of stalls out or slows down because of high pressure to the north, the wind field really expands out. So even by Monday and Tuesday of next week, there will be some gusty winds, especially on the north side of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla. There'll be some gusty winds, nothing too crazy. Winds could gust uh, anywhere from 75 to 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. Those are just some of the gusts that will be around. You'll know something that's kind of out there up to the north. And you, you see the wider wind field, what I was talking about there, lifting this right up to the north. Here is Bermuda, and that would put it off uh, the heaviest weather just, just to the west of Bermuda. But being on the east side, that's not a good thing because the east side of a system has the worst weather. So if this nudges just a little bit closer, 
That could be uh, more of a direct hit on Bermuda. Bermuda, if there are impacts, I do believe there are going to be some impacts, either tropical storm or hurricane impacts. That would be on Thursday. So if we need to start thinking about preparations, they need to be done before Thursday for Bermuda. Now, looking at these winds, look at this. These are the, or, and I'm sorry, the uh, waves. These are not the winds. These are the waves, the wave heights. You see this white shading in here? Those are wave heights of 40 feet. That's about 12 meters. That is incredible stuff. And as the wind field does expand on this, the waves uh, expand as well. The swells start to work out. Incredibly, incredibly dangerous seas, life-threatening seas. You see some of these uh, wave heights still in it upwards. This is by the time we get into early and mid next week. Uh, those wave heights, that kind of darker uh, red we're seeing there and some of the uh, whites trying to show up. 40 feet, that is incredible stuff. Life-threatening as far as the wave heights go. I'll continue to monitor that uh, for you as we go forward. So a couple things out there. Again, there's obviously Lee. Margo, I mentioned back behind it. That's gonna stay out to sea. Now the American model does show another system developing, approaching the Caribbean about a week and a half from now. The European model does not see that. So there are uh, big differences on that. That tropical wave is still on Africa. So this is way down the road, but know that I'm keeping an eye on that as well. So uh, again, we got a long way to go in the hurricane season. So as Lee departs, I'm gonna keep my close attention on to what is, uh, what is next, what potentially could at least be coming closer to the Caribbean. Right now, El Salvador, we've had some of the showers and storms around Costa Rica, Panama, passing shower storm uh, near uh, Haiti. And this here, this is Hova in the Eastern Pacific side. This is now weakening. It was a major hurricane. It is now weakening as it enters into some cooler water. Eastern Pacific side has a different set of names. Uh, the different basins around the world have different names. Some are called uh, typhoons, some are called willy willies, uh, some are called hurricanes. So again, just uh, geographic uh, differences there. Here's a look at what to expect over the next two days. And then I wanna recap with you what we're dealing with. This here, Antigua and Barbuda, that of course is Lee. Spotty showers and storms around today. Costa Rica and Panama, a bit more. Hit or miss shower, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, but not as much. Uh, with this Lee being up to the north, it's actually gonna be a little drier. And if you are drier, you are hotter. It is super hot in spots. And you see by tomorrow, Cuba pop-up shower storm, Jamaica pop-up shower storm, and a few over toward the Bahamas with an old front that's nearby. Some scattered showers and storms. Please hit or miss shower storm as we work our way into our Saturday. Sunday, watching a little flare-up of some rain over here. So near Nicaragua, Costa Rica, little blob of rain, nothing organized, spotty showers. And I mentioned some of those feeder bands Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Those are the, the bands of rain that stretch far away from this system. Could clip us by Guadalupe, Martinique, uh, Dominico, may even see a few scattered showers early next week uh, just because Lee is up to the north. So Puerto Rico rain chance up to 50% on a Sunday, lead to the north as we work our way into Sunday and early next week. U.S. and British Virgin Islands a 50% chance as we get into Sunday. Isolated shower storm the next two days in Antigua, Barbuda. Again, the very, very dangerous seas. Those waters are incredibly rough and they will get rougher. Anguilla rain chance up to 50% on Sunday. May see a few showers on the south side of Lee. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, same thing. 40% chance on Sunday. As we work our way into St. Martin over towards St. Saba, Stacia, even St. Bart's hit or miss shower storm today and tomorrow, otherwise mainly dry. 20 to 30% chance the next few days, Trinidad and Tobago, and very hot. Limited rain chance in Grenada uh, with Lee well up to the north. Barbados isolated, 30% chance. Same thing in St. Lucia this week in a 30% chance of a shower storm. 20 to 30% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Very hot weather around. Jamaica isolated shower storm. Little bump up in that rain chance on Sunday. Lee coming nowhere near Jamaica. Belize 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms and a 40% chance this weekend as we work our way into the Yucatan of Mexico. Cayman Islands 30 to 40% chance. 30 to 40% chance right through the Bahamas. All eyes on Lee to see if there's any chance changes, watching it around the clock, 20% chance today in the Turks and Caicos, Sunday a 40% chance, life-threatening seas out there. I showed you that, how high those uh, seas are going to be getting. Haiti, 40% chance of a shower storm this weekend, and a 50% chance by the second half of the weekend 
in the Dominican Republic, mainly dry in Aruba, mainly dry as we get toward Curacao and Bonaire. Again, the ABC Islands, uh, just a really dry and hot pattern at this point. Guadalupe, a 50% chance of a shower storm on Sunday. May see one of those feeder bands try to wrap in. Same thing in Dominica as we work our way to Martinique, 40% chance of a shower storm on Sunday. About a 60% chance as we work our way into Costa Rica, Panama. I showed you some of the rain that's already around now. Northern Venezuela, isolated shower or storm. We work our way into Guyana. Rain chance holding at 20% for the weekend and a 20% chance passing shower possible in Suriname. So all eyes on Lee. It will slow down and eventually stall to the north of Puerto Rico before it makes its turn. When it makes that turn will be critical of who gets impacts down the road. Bermuda, I do believe there'll be at least tropical storm conditions by the time we get into Thursday of the upcoming week. Short term watching those seas and a few of those rain bands on the south side as we work our way through the weekend. Long term, those alert areas will go from Bermuda and may even expand up toward uh, New England, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland. We'll be watching that. Hurricane season goes through November 30th. Yes, there are more strong tropical waves behind Margo. I'll be watching those for the Caribbean as we go forward. Thank you for your trust and share in this channel and have a good rest of your day.